Hi, this is Professor Nugent, and this is my overview video for investments online, BUS 355. The first thing you should do is get acquainted with the Blackboard and read over the announcements. My first announcement is about this video syllabus, which you're currently watching. So you either clicked on this video syllabus or you subscribe to the investment class playlist. So all my videos are hosted by YouTube. So go over to YouTube, subscribe to my channel, and subscribe to the playlist for this course. This way you'll get all the videos associated with this class, all of the lecture videos and spreadsheet help videos to help you complete this course in the most efficient and effective manner. The first video, of course, you're watching is the Getting Started video. So in this video, I'm going to be going over the course as best I can to help you get a head start in understanding what is required of you and how to do the best possible in this course. The first thing I want to talk about as we read over the announcements is the stock market game. So the stock market game is a 40-point assignment, and you're going to be trading in a stock market competition with all the students in the class. You have to make a minimum of five trades per week from January 30th to May 5th, and the student with the most return will earn one point of extra credit. I've left instructions down here on how to join the competition. So you go to this URL. Uh, best to open this outside of the Blackboard environment. A lot of URLs, including the, the links to the videos, may not perform properly with inside of Blackboard. So you can just kind of cut and paste that into um, its own separate browser window. So once you're there, you're going to register for the Market Watch game. The password for the game, it's a private game, so nobody other than students in our class can join, is BUS355 is the password. So you just click on join now and you get started. It's very easy and once you're in there you can start making trades and I'll have a separate video on how to use the stock market simulation in trading and buying stocks. So important to get started on that right away. The next thing we have is the My Finance Lab Homework Manager. So the My Finance Lab Homework Manager is a separate piece of software that can come with the textbook. So you are able to buy the textbook with the Homework Manager but it's a um, an e-text edition. So let's see where, do I have some notes on how to do that? I think if you go to the um, course documents and then the syllabus, I have information about the textbook and I do have a web link here where you can buy them together. So let's uh, see if that web link works. This is, this is, that's a different book from my other class. Okay. Um, Oh, that is the homework manager. So let's see. Finance. Okay, so you can purchase the e textbook and the finance lab together when you register for this is the Pearson My Finance Lab. When you uh, register as a student, you'll have an option to ha also uh, get the textbook with it, which may be a, a cheaper choice than if you buy. The full paper edition of the uh, textbook. Okay, back to announcements. So, in the homework manager, I give instructions here, including a website uh, that's this website here on how to register as a student, and then um, you're going to need the course ID, an access code, or credit card. There is, unless you buy the new textbook, the physical hard copy of the textbook. It may come with an access code, but if you're not buying a physical hard copy of the textbook and you want to use an ebook, you will need to use a credit card to pay for this. <clears throat> and then you would need to enter in my course ID. So under announcements, I have my course ID right here. So this is my course ID and for this class, and I'm going to put this into the course ID and continue. And then it will prompt you on the sign up for uh, sign in with your current Pearson account or to create a new account. Uh, and this will be connect you to our spring. You'll see Nugent Spring 2017. So you'll know that this is my course. And you can continue. Most of you may not have an account, so you continue by creating an account and then following the instructions to create the account. Uh, pretty straightforward for anybody who is experienced with the internet. I'm sure you've signed up for things on in the internet before. So this is the homework manager and once you registered for the homework manager, it's going to look like this. So you're going to have your assignments and you're going to do uh, to do homework and also be taking your tests in here as well. 
The, I have a sample exam, so when you click on tests, um, I do have, there's a sample uh, exam and a sample quiz that you can kind of get an idea for how these tests work. Uh, and when our official exams open up, they will open up in this environment. Um, but right now the exams, uh, we'll go over the exam dates in a minute. Right now, all the homeworks for the homework manager, all the homework manager homeworks are open. So the first thing I suggest is to click on how the homework manager works. This is a sort of self-paced tutorial which gives you questions and gets you familiar with how this homework manager works. So this is a very worthwhile uh, first assignment to do is to click on how the homework manager works to so get an idea of the rounding, how to answer questions, how to redo questions, how to uh, you know, move forward with this homework manager. So when you're ready to work on actual homework, you click on the homework link, you click, you click on a question that you want to complete, and you'll see that you know, you'll get your question, which is related to the course material and the course homework. So if you haven't listened to my lecture chapter or um, worked on a reading the textbook, these questions may seem very foreign to you. So I always suggest reading the textbook and watching my lectures first before you attempt the homework. So if you're working on the homework and you're not quite sure uh, what to do here, there's this question help button here, which is very important. So in this question help button, you can uh, click on, if you have the e-textbook, it'll take you right to the page where the question is derived from. If you want to view an example of a completed problem, it'll uh, walk you through a completed problem with an example uh, numbers of how they completed it. It's very useful to see a completed example. And they also sometimes have this help me solve it function, which is an interactive, um, demonstration or demo of how to do the problem and let it kind of walks you through it uh, and preps you for the problem before you try it. So there's a lot of, uh, and sometimes there's even a video of somebody doing the problem on a, on a, uh, a whiteboard uh, that sometimes occurs. So this uh, question help is a really good area to look at if you're having problems with each of the questions. And then of course, if you do get the complete question wrong, and by the end of the question, you submit the question, uh, you will be able to redo the question, but only after it's fully fully submitted. Once you fully submit question two, you get a chance to redo question two, but it's gonna be different numbers. So this is what's nice about the homework manager is that I allow you to redo the questions you get fully wrong, and I allow you to uh, get access to additional uh, examples and help me solve the tools and show you exactly in the book where the pet question is coming from. So it's one of the big advantages for using the homework manager. Okay. So homework manager is pretty straightforward. You do this, how the homework manager works. You'll understand all the intricacies of the homework manager and have everything set up in advance so you can work uh, whenever you're ready to work on those homework manager problems. So it's a very useful tool. And again, all the tests will take place in the homework manager. And I have put together this uh, My Finance Lab and Blackboard due dates list. So here are the My Finance Lab assignments. So here are all the homework assignments and the three tests. So I give you the date of the tests so the, these tests are due on the 3rd, 14th, and 9th. Uh, that is our final exam. And you will have, um, you know, I give you the uh, pretty much the whole day to work on it. But once you start one of these exams, you must, continue, you must finish it in one sitting. So you can't really break it up during the day. You must have a, a nice block of time to complete the exam. And before each of the exams come up, I will give you... Um, a review list and more specifics, give you some more specific information about how the exams work. Uh, but just right now, remember that on the 10th, the 14th, and the 9th, you have exams, and you won't see them in Blackboard until the day of the exam. Uh, because I don't let you do them early. I want you to complete all this coursework first before you start the exam. Uh, okay, and now the Blackboard, the Blackboard assignments, I have a spreadsheet assignment for each of the chapters except chapter nine that we're going to be working on in this course uh, that you're going to be doing in Blackboard plus the stock trading game, which you need to make five trades each week. So that is um, detailed under assignments. So let's go to assignments. Now that we've read over announcements and you understand that you're going to be joining a stock market trading competition, you're going to be signing up for the homework manager and that there's additional assignments to do in Blackboard. Let's look at the assignments in Blackboard. So in Blackboard, the first thing I say, you know, I talk about the homework managers also on announcements. But the first uh, assignment here is Chapter 1 Excel. 
So here you want to download the uh, Chapter 1 Excel. But also, there is, I have a YouTube playlist called Investment Worksheet Class Handouts. So I have a, a playlist here that you sub can subscribe to that gives you hints and step-by-step step step instructions how to complete each of these spreadsheets. Because some of the spreadsheets, will, um, you need to see a video to give it, give, so I can give you an example of how to complete it before you work on it. So uh, again, you, you're going to want to subscribe to the playlist. So when you go to the playlist, you'll see a playlist that will um, include all of the... Uh, this playlist, there's two playlists. This one actually includes all of the lectures for the course as well as all of the spreadsheet. Let me just click on the spreadsheet one. All of the spreadsheet. So this video, explain and this is where I, uh, let me just mute this. From... Okay, so this is the spreadsheet, the same spreadsheet you're working on. And I do a step-by-step -step instructions, including the formulas that you see here on how to complete each of the boxes that are due. So I give you a lot of uh, support in, in finishing these spreadsheets because they are they're a little, a little hard and a little difficult but that's why I'm going to give you as much support as possible so how to complete the assignment is you click on the spreadsheet link you download the spreadsheet you open it up now this must be uh, submitted to me in an Excel file so if you don't have Excel Excel is free to all Stony Brook students just go to the technology section of the Stony Brook webpage and you can download for free Microsoft Office Okay, so in, in here you'll have a spreadsheet, and some spreadsheets may be, uh, if we go to, this again is the, the stock trading game is part of this assignment, assignments in here. Go to, say, spreadsheet two, or even you know, uh, spreadsheet three, so we go to these different spreadsheets, and sometimes they have multiple tabs. This is just something I want to warn you about that um, they may have, well, I can't, some of them, they see there's a tab here, and they may have a second tab. It could be a second worksheet. So just remember that worksheets sometimes have one or two tabs. Most of them will just have one tab. Um, so just make sure you complete all of the uh, sheets on, on the site. So once you, you download the uh, spreadsheet and open it up in Excel, you complete the spreadsheet in Excel, you save your file, and then you click on Excel, uh, the underlying bold Excel, Chapter 1 Excel here, and you'll get the submission where you can click on Browse My Computer and attach your spreadsheet and hit Submit. And that way, I will, uh, your assignment will be submitted to your gradebook, and I will grade it in the gradebook and leave you some feedback for each of the spreadsheet chapters. Okay. So in the assignments, like I said, each of the spreadsheet chapters, the clear due dates are set up. All of them are open now, so you can work ahead. I also, like I said, I placed the stock trading game assignment in here with the same instructions on how to sign up. And then we continue to do all of these spreadsheets. The only chapter uh, not, I'm covering that doesn't have a spreadsheet, I believe, is chapter 9. Okay, so those are all the spreadsheets, home assignments. And then we go to uh, course documents. Inside course documents, we have the spreadsheet answer keys. So once the spreadsheet is completed and submitted, the following day I'll open up an answer key if you want to check your answers, my answers to your answers. Uh, sort of like double check uh, if you got everything correct, if you had any questions in the spreadsheet. I give you a fully uh, completed spreadsheet with all the formulas so you can kind of uh, self-assess your, your performance on that. And I also in the uh, course documents here, I have a syllabus. So read over the syllabus completely. So the syllabus is going to go over um, the textbook, and, and I, you can buy a physical copy of the textbook through the Amazon uh, bookstore. You can, if you, don't, if you don't need a physical copy, you can buy an online copy with the homework manager. Some textbooks you buy may come with an access card. And so just make sure if you do buy a physical textbook, it comes with an access card. Or if you buy a used book, you can buy the access um, separately from the My Finance Lab. So just figure out what works best for you. Uh, in this syllabus, I talk about the learning objectives, the course expectations, my methodology for teaching the class, um, your responsibilities as a student, the grading, each test is 100 points, the stock trading competition is 40 points, the Excel spreadsheets I just went over is 50 points, and the My Finance Lab homeworks are 110 points. And that's how we have a full 500 points for this course.
Now all the grades, well, the grades initially will split up between Blackboard and My Finance Lab. By the end of the course, I'll move the grades from the Blackboard into the My Finance Lab. So you have one in the My Finance Lab area. You'll have all your grades set up. I'll, 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 I'll port over the stock trading and spreadsheet grades, and they'll give you a weighted average. So you can kind of check out your weighted average against this grading scale to see what your letter grade in the course will be. Here's the class schedule for a class. So we have uh, it's a 15-week class, including the you know 15 week is the final exam, which is on uh, May 9th. Uh, and the exams on Friday, March 12th is the first exam. It opens up at 3 a.m., closes at 11:30 p.m. So this is the time window that you can start the exam in that time window. But once you start the exam, you must uh, complete the exam in one sitting. And I do allow you to go back, so you can skip questions and go back and complete questions later, but you have to complete it in one sitting. So we have a test on March 10th, a Friday, April 14th, and May Tuesday, May 9th. And this is our final exam uh, day, so I can't make that. They tell me when that day is. So, And, and then these are all the chapters we'll be going over in the course. And the syllabus continues with the uh, typical Ameri uh, American with Disabilities Act that you can contact if you have a, a physical or learning disability. And academic integrity, please be um, ethical when completing this course. Do not cheat, collude, or plagiarize. Uh, if I discover any of that going on, I will submit you to academic dishonesty. Okay, so that is the uh, course documents, the syllabus. Please read that over in, your, in its entirety. I also have all the PowerPoint chapters backed up here. These chapters make up the um, the components of the lecture. So the lecture, I'm lecturing over these PowerPoints. And these are the chapters where you see the C04 is chapter 4, uh, C01 is chapter 1, and not in chapter order. So just kind of look it up that way. Uh, and then we have the discussion boards. If you have a question about the course, you can click on questions about the course. And the first question is, when is the homework due? Uh, when is the homework due? And I'm going to reply to that. So that was a fictional student. I'll, I'll say C. Announcements. Due dates also so listed on, uh, in So I'll submit a response to that. So if you have a question you think all students can benefit from, this would be a good area, a discussion area, to kind of ask that question. Okay. And I also want to re remind everybody that in the uh, announcements area, I'll, I'll be posting announcements here as the class starts going about uh, what you're going to be working on and important announcements. So always check the announcements. I always send an email at the same time I make the announcements. So uh, if you don't check your email regularly, uh, that could be a problem. So if you don't check your email regularly, make sure you check Blackboard because I'm going to be posting announcements here. And the very important thing to remember is that since I've set up all the due dates already and ahead of time for all the spreadsheet, Blackboard assignments, all the assignments on the homework manager, I, mean, I am not going to accept any late assignments. So make sure you do your assignments early. If you typically have problems where work-related or family-related or internet-related or car-related or anything that could prevent you from completing your homework, you know, on the due date. So if you're one of these students who want to work, you know, the assignment's due at 11.30 p.m. and you start it at 10 p.m. and something comes up, I'm not going to accept it late. Don't even email to me late. Don't give me any excuses. I will not accept any late assignments. So make sure that you get your work done early if you're the type of student that, that comes into a lot of difficulties in completing your work. Uh, and if you have um, appointments, medical appointments, or school-related appointments, that's fine. That's why I've opened up all the homeworks on day one of the course, so you can do them early, so that way there's no conflicts with any appointments you may have during the semester. Okay, so that's my quick uh, tutorial of getting started with the investment class online. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or post them on the discussion boards. I also have office hours that I will post on the syllabus uh, moving forward. So check the syllabus. I'll put my office hours there if you need to stop by to talk about anything. And I wish you the best of luck with this course. 
and take care.